going on guys I'm gonna do a review on my 2001 giant trans x 29er um, i got this bike at the end of february 2021 uh, i haven't I have a mountain bike for probably over 10 years and i only mountain bike for about three or four months back then so i don't have a whole lot of mountain biking experience um, Really, this has just been my first year of mountain biking. I do have uh, a motocross and like hair scramble racing background uh, with dirt bikes. I did that since I was probably eight years old up until probably the last few years until uh, I was about 30 years old. So uh, I do have experience on two wheels, but uh, mountain biking, I'm I'm fairly new too so this this was the bike that i chose to get uh, and I, I really didn't do a whole lot of research uh, i've got a giant uh, bicycle shop at our dealership in my my town uh, it's called the spoke easy uh, the guy that owns it scott hess a great guy so uh, you know giant bicycles were readily available at the time i got lucky and they had a an x3 in stock so uh, i chose chose to go with that uh, I wanted the X2 version, but uh, of course availability was tough at that time, so I just went ahead and got what I could get, um, and just figured you know that I'd I'd probably upgrade uh, as I went. So that's what I've done with this bike. Uh, I have upgraded quite a bit. Honestly, the only thing that's really stock on it now is uh, the frame, the dropper post, and I think the rear brake disc that's that's pretty much it that's the only stock components that i have on this bike but i will talk up briefly about how it was stock uh it was you know it was a great bike i don't really have anything to reference it to um I, the bike i had you know 10 plus years ago was a specialized stump jumper uh 29er fsr comp i think i got that right uh, but it was a an aluminum frame 29er uh, and that was back when you know i guess 29ers were just coming on the scene uh, it was shorter travel than this bike and definitely didn't have uh, as aggressive geometry as, as this bike um, I did I liked the bike I just I was more into motocross and off-road racing at that time so uh, I just didn't stick with it uh, this bike it uh, it really uh, really has exceeded my expectations um, it's you know it, it it feels a lot more feels a lot more comfortable to me than the stump jumper that i had years ago uh I, and i think it's kind of because it it's closer to what a a motocross bike or a dirt bike would feel like uh with you know a little slacker head tube angle uh it's longer it's just it doesn't feel as as finicky as uh, i guess the bike that i had in the past uh, but there was still, you know, of course, a big learning curve on this bike uh, as far as jumping and stuff like that. It's, it's, you know, yeah, it's two wheels and you got handlebars and this and that, but uh, it's a lot different than jumping a dirt bike. You know, this bike weighs 33 pounds or so. Uh, the way it's set up now, a motocross bike weighs 230 plus pounds. So, um, you know, it's a lot different. Uh, in, in certain aspects but uh, this bike really it does well climbing uh, it does really well descending in my opinion it's just a great all-around bike I think this is a bike that um, you can get and you know enjoy uh, as long as you're not stuck to one type of riding so you know if you were just riding all downhill uh, steep stuff of course you'd want to a bike for that you know a downhill bike or or what have you but um, and if you're just doing cross-country stuff you know pretty tame trails not a lot of technical stuff of course you, you'd want something a little shorter travel and maybe a bit more rigid than than this bike and maybe not as aggressive uh, as far as the head angle and and, and that kind of stuff but uh, like I said, this is a great all-around bike. Uh, the kind of riding I do here in Kentucky, uh, it's perfect for. 
you know we have a good mixture of stuff but uh, we don't we don't have anything crazy um, and this bike it jumps great I, like I said I, I had a big learning curve uh, with jumping a bicycle so uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot better at it I'm still not great but it's definitely starting to feel a lot more comfortable jumping um, but this bike does great for that I think I, you know it's predictable in the air um, and it doesn't do anything weird in my opinion uh, I really do enjoy it uh, I've taken this bike to Windrock um, and honestly the bike didn't do bad I don't think the bike is what held uh, held me back or prevented me from going any faster it's just probably my riding ability on that type of terrain uh, I may have been able to go a little faster on a more aggressive bike you know like a downhill bike I'm sure but um, I don't think it would have made that big a difference because it's just not what I'm used to riding on a bike um, but that's definitely enjoyed that type of riding that's uh, I kind of you know I do wish that we had that stuff a little closer it's about three hours for me to get to uh, a place like Windrock but it's worth the trip. Uh, now, a place like Baker Creek Preserve, this this bike does really well. You know, on the, the flow trails and stuff like that, no complaints there. It does does quite well. Which honestly, on a lot of those trails, you could get away with riding a hardtail because they're so groomed and uh, you know, yeah, there's big jumps and stuff, but uh, they're very very groomed trails. So the rear suspension isn't as much a factor. Um, uh, one place that I like to visit quite a bit, it's fairly close, is O'Bannon Woods in southern Indiana. Uh, it's uh, got a lot of different stuff. You know, it's got some kind of flow downhill stuff, uh, jumps, rocks, lots of rocks and roots, uh, and some technical riding, some technical climbs. So this bike eats that stuff up. It does really good on the climbs, uh, pedals well uh, up, you know, technical rocky stuff. Um, so I, I was really pleased with it. And that, I'm talking about in stock form. It, it did really well uh, as a stock bike. Um, the SX group set that comes on it, as far as the rear derailleur, derailleur um, wasn't not the highest quality, obviously. Uh, and I was kind of told up front that I would probably be replacing that pretty quick. Uh, and it was recommended to replace that with GX spec. So that's what I've done. Uh, that was one of the first upgrades that I did was a, uh, a GX derailleur. derailleur. Having trouble with that word. Um, but really pleased with that. I ended up getting the cassette as well. Uh, when I upgraded my wheel set, I went with the in, uh, Industry 9 Enduro S. Uh, I think it's 1-1 one, one, uh, hubs and rims. Uh, you just buy it as a, you know, as a, a complete wheel basically and I think about $700 $750 is what I paid but it lightens the bike I think it takes about a pound off so you know that's rotating mass so that that doesn't make a big difference with how the bike feels and pedals and uh, stuff of that nature and really the reason I went with an upgraded wheel set is because I, I dinged and bent my stock set uh, the rear wheel anyway and wasn't really happy with a stock engagement on a stock hub wanted something uh, a little tighter a little better engagement um, but i didn't you know i didn't want to spring for the carbon set that would cost 15 plus hundred dollars so uh, i went with these read the reviews and it looked like a good a good choice for someone of you know of my capabilities um Another thing that I upgraded pretty quickly was the front fork. I went with the Bomber Z1 Marzocchi. Um, of course, it's the stock 150 millimeters. Um, really like this fork. It's an upgrade from the, the gold, I think, RL1. Correction, the gold RL35, I think, is what it was. Um, you know, it was a, it's an okay fork, but it felt like it had a lot of stiction and like, say your s small bump compliance wasn't wasn't really there. It was just kind of, uh, uh, I won't say like 
a violent fork ride over rough terrain, but it, it didn't feel the best. This feels a lot better. Uh, you know, and this isn't even like, this has got the, the grip damper. It, it's not even the grip two, the higher end grip two that you find on uh, like the Fox 36 and things. Um, but this still does really well. I upgraded the rear shock to a Fox DPX2. Uh, got this second hand. It was used, uh, I think it came off of an evil something. Um, I can't remember what exactly it came off of, some type of evil bike, but uh, I like it. It uh, feels a little bit more compliant over small bumps and things. Um, seems to hold up in the stroke pretty well. Pedaling's decent on it. Uh, just especially for extended downhills, it, it does a little bit better, I think. Uh, it's, it's able to handle repeated impacts a little better than uh, what comes on at stock, which is the, I think, the Fox DPS doesn't have the piggyback. Um, I've also got the oval chain ring. I think that's absolute black uh, chain ring and Oh, I also put uh, XT brakes on this bike. It's got the four piston XT brakes. Um, upgraded the, of course, the calipers and levers. And I upgraded the front disc. I haven't upgraded the rear disc yet, but I don't really feel the need to. It's got the race face. 50 millimeter stem, uh, got a little stem cap here, a little customization, PNW bars, and I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm 6'2", 6'3", on a good day, about 205, 210 pounds, so these are the, uh, just basically stock width, they're as wide as you can get, and I've just kept them, I haven't cut them down any. Other than that, I'm running the stock tires, the uh, dissector on the back, Maxis, Maxis, and uh, this is a Minion DHF on the front. Really, really pleased with the grip. No complaints on those. I've got a stock saddle. Uh, running the one pedals. These are the, I guess, the composite pedals but uh, plenty of grip no complaints good solid platform and that's about it uh, I've got got some plans to this year taking this bike to probably back to Winrock we'll probably go again um, do some more riding down in uh, Knoxville and of course hitting up all the local trails here in Kentucky we we'll get some riding footage for you guys. But yeah, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.